I'm putting every MLB team against each other in an imperialism style battle royale, and there can only be one winner at the end of the video. This wheel is going to pick a team, and this arrow is going to pick a direction to attack, as we're starting with the Texas Rangers, and they're going to claim New Mexico. Teams are going to have to face off as the video continues as we land on Oakland, and they're not going to get as lucky as Texas did, as they're attacking the Giants' territory, and we have our first game of the video. The A's were the worst team in baseball this season, so they're far from a favorite in this tournament, but they're actually going to get going with this double against the shift, and with two outs, they need to keep this inning alive and Rooker's going up the middle to score the first run of the entire video. Anything can happen in Imperialism and that's a remarkable play from the shortstop position that's going to stop the Giants from getting on base. An Oakland A's upset would be a crazy start to the video as Diaz is going to single and Webb just looks really uncomfortable as he's going to get two aboard hitting Kemp. For the second straight inning, the A's have a scoring chance as this one's going into opposite but I don't think it's going to be able to score a run. Regardless though, the bases are loaded for Zach Geloff and he's going to hit this one past the first baseman and Oakland's up two to nothing. Unfortunately though, they're going to miss a chance to score more runs, but still have a 2-0 lead in the third inning as the Giants have made great contact but haven't been able to get on base. Oakland already has six hits in this game and are looking to make it number seven as Ruiz hits this one into left field and this one's going to get down as Langoliers is digging for third to put runners at the corners. This is another RBI chance and this ball is absolutely smoked through the infield again, which is going to score a run. I was not expecting Oakland to come out to this big of a lead, but Conforto is going to get two on with this single and this is the best chance the Giants have been in to score all game long as Crawford's finally going to deliver with his RBI down the first baseline. It really feels like the momentum's starting to shift away from Oakland, but they're going to finally wake up in the bottom of the sixth, getting runners at the corners with the single down the first baseline. Both of these offenses have really stalled today until now as Lamont Wade Jr. is going to go yard to cut the A's lead to just one run. However, the Giants are down to their last chance and this one was hit as softly as possible to seal their fate as Oakland's going to get the first elimination of the video. That was a very exciting way to start this one off as the wheel lands on the Tigers and it looks like they're going to be attacking to the southeast which will put them up against the Toronto Blue Jays. It would be really fun to see another upset but the Blue Jays are a very good team as Akil Badu blasts this one into right field watching it go to the foul pole where it's going to drift just outside. A Tigers home run would have been a hilarious start to this game but it's still scoreless and Bo Bichette's going to get aboard. The Tigers offense is terrible so they need Tariq Skubal to have a good game but this isn't a good start as there's two runners on for Matt Chapman who's going to make good contact to center field but this one's not going to get down. Neither side is given an inch in the second inning, but right on cue, Alejandro Kirk is going to blast this one into left field to score the first run of the game. Detroit cannot afford to fall behind a good playoff team like the Blue Jays, but that's exactly what's going to happen as Kiermaier is going to launch this one into right field, and that's going to be definite extra bases as he makes it all the way to third. We just need a single to make this one two to nothing, and Bichette's going to deliver his second hit of the game, but they could easily extend their lead with home run derby champ Vlad Jr. up, and he's going to deliver to the opposite field as this one's getting out of hand quickly. The Tigers proved that they never had a chance in this one, and Toronto's going to expand their territory into the United States. We've already seen two eliminations, as the wheel lands on the Padres, and they're going to be attacking south, which means they're invading Arizona. This has a chance to be one of the best games of the entire video, as a very talented Padres team is going up against the NL champs, but up to this point, neither side has been able to get any momentum going, and that continues in the third inning. This game could very easily come down to who scores the first run, as the Padres are going to get two aboard on this blooper to center field, and with zero outs, they still have plenty of time to score some runs, as Solofin's going to hit this one into right field, and that's going to get it done, as the first run has finally been scored. There's still two runners on, however, and this line drive up the middle is definitely going to score another. Arizona needs to get back in this game, but Snell's been dealing, and he finally gives up his first hit of the game. Thomas got to third on two steals, and Gurriel Jr. is going to score him to cut this lead to just one. Both offenses have been non-existent today, as it's still 2-1, but Manny Machado is looking to change that with his deep drive to left center, and that one leaves the yard to make this 3-1. to one. Scoring another run would nearly ice the game for San Diego, and this crack to deep left center is going to get that done, as that one's going to carry all the way over the fence, as the Diamondbacks may have made the World Series, but the Padres pull off the upset in Imperialism. We've already seen a few upsets in this video, as the Kansas City Royals are our next victim, and this will be a battle for the state of Missouri as they're taking on the Cardinals. This game is still tied up in the sixth inning, which is no surprise considering both of these teams had pretty bad years, but you can't stop Bobby Witt Jr. for Forever, and his speed's gonna allow him to turn this into an RBI triple to score the first run of the game. Someone finally got a lead in this one, and I'm kind of surprised it's the Royals, as Salvi Perez is gonna drive this one deep to left field, and I think that one's gonna leave the yard to make this 3 to nothing in the 6th inning. The Royals have completely blown this one open, and I don't think they're done, as Nelson Velazquez is gonna get a hold of this one, driving it to the gap in left center, and that's another double. This game was 0-0 at the start of the inning, and suddenly the Cardinals are in their bullpen, as the Royals are gonna score another run, and the Royals are 
gonna prevail in the battle for the state of Missouri, invading St. Louis and pulling off a huge comeback. We've had a lot of matchups early on in this imperialism and landing on the Brewers, I'm curious if it's gonna be different, but it looks like we're getting another game as they invade Minnesota. This is our first matchup between two playoff teams. And since these imperialism videos take about 20 hours to record, please subscribe and drop a like if you wanna see more. Milwaukee has two in scoring position for Canna and he's gonna deliver with a drive into left field as he scores two runs and gets Milwaukee out to an early lead. The Brewers were definitely the surprise team of my playoff imperialism video and guys like Willie Adamas were a huge reason for that as he's gonna score another first inning run. That early rally is gonna be a lot for the Twins to come back from, but with two on, Kyle Farmer is gonna deliver and make this a one run game. It would be crazy if the Twins can pull off a four run comeback as Willie Castro is gonna turn on this one and send it into right field for a double. As we're seeing both offenses coming alive, is that's gonna be another double, this time to left field, scoring a run and Minnesota's tied this one up. They have all the momentum in this game as their third double of the inning is gonna score the lead taking run. And this comeback rally has made this the most exciting game of the entire video so far as there is another RBI double off the wall. And the twins are gonna win this one in probably the most exciting game I've ever played, pulling off the invasion and taking the state of Wisconsin. This has already been such an exciting imperialism and there's still so much more time. And we finally have a break in the games as the Orioles expand their land. We're gonna see another game with the Blue Jays depending on where this arrow lands. And it's a little hard to tell where they're supposed to go, but I think they're invading New York to take on the Mets. Toronto's looking to expand their territory as Vlad Jr. is gonna rip this one down the third baseline, which is definitely gonna score Beau Bichette all the way from first base and get the Blue Jays on the board early. The Mets, on the other hand, spent a ton of money last offseason and many people thought they were gonna win it all. And while the results were very disappointing for them, this imperialism could be a second chance for redemption, but Toronto's gonna score another run. However, we may have a game on our hands as Vogelback is gonna go deep with two on and in just one swing, the Mets have completely turned this game around. The Mets took the lead in the first inning, but Toronto's gonna come right back as Bo Bichette blasts a no-doubter to tie this one back up. The Daniel Vogelback home run definitely felt like fate to me because I've seen him homer in the only three ballparks I've ever been to, including Seattle's AAA affiliate, Seattle, and then City Field when I was visiting my friend Not the Expert as Toronto's gonna take the lead. I kinda hope the Mets can get back into this one just because of my bond with Daniel Vogelbach, and he's gonna collect his second hit of the game. The tying run is at third base, and we can't hit into a double play, but that's exactly what Brett Beatty's gonna do as New York's bullpen completely collapsed and Toronto gets their second win of the video. They have the biggest territory on the map, which also means they're more vulnerable to attack as we're gonna get a new team with the wheel landing on the Nationals. And unfortunately, they're gonna have to invade Baltimore. This game could get real bad real quick for Washington as Adley Rutschman's gonna deliver right away. This is all against their best starting pitcher who's only a 72 overall as Santander is gonna make him pay. Really getting a hold of this one as this is gonna fly way over the fence to make it two nothing early on. We've already seen some upsets today, but Washington never really had a chance in this one, as the Orioles are going to hold off their invasion and gain a very small piece of land. The Cubs are the next victim of the wheel, and they're currently sharing their state with the White Sox, but they're not going to have to play them just yet, as they're expanding their land to the west, and I'm pretty sure that's the state of Iowa. I'm also curious if a team's going to take over the whole map today, as we land on the Astros, and there's a good chance this is going to be an ALCS rematch, and we are going to get the battle for the state of Texas. The Astros won the last imperialism video I did, taking down the Rangers and they're looking for revenge early on as Mitch Garver is gonna go deep. And we have to remember that that last imperialism video was on a roster file before the Rangers won the World Series, but Jordan Alvarez is still an absolute monster and he's gonna take this lead right back. The Astros would score another run and the Rangers have a lot of work to do, but just like Corey Seager came up big in the ALCS, this dinger is gonna get them back in this game. As a Mariners fan, it was definitely frustrating seeing Texas rebuild this fast as this one's got some carry and Garcia has the power to send it over the fence to tie the game. It's definitely fun watching good playoff teams face off against each other as Jordan Alvarez really got a hold of that one and I think that one's going over the fence for another home run. This game may come down to the wire but Brantley's gonna double again to score the third run of the inning for Houston putting a lot of pressure on the Rangers. It's definitely pretty unfortunate that these teams have to play each other pretty early on in these imperialism videos as they're definitely two of the best teams in baseball but McCormick's double is gonna score another run and the Astros are gonna get their real life playoff redemption eliminating their division rival and taking all of their land. I don't know how many games are going to top that as the wheel's going to land on the White Sox. They're attacking almost completely north, putting them up against the Cubs. The Cubs definitely have the advantage in this one, but no team is able to score through three innings. It's still scoreless in the fifth, but someone had to break through eventually as the White Sox pick up this no doubt blast. The White Sox are definitely the underdog in this one, so they'll take any type of lead they can get as Ben is going to blast this one over the fence for the second home run of this inning. There's a lot of pressure on the Cubs now, but it looks like Dansby Swanson's going to deliver a run to cut this back to a one run lead. So now the tying runs on second base as Gomez is going to blast this one into deep left center.
center field. And forget about a tie. The Cubs are taking this lead. The best thing about Imperialism is that anything can happen. And I think this one's going to get down in deep left field as Andrus launches this one. And the White Sox are taking the lead right back. The Cubs are in danger of becoming this video's biggest upset yet. But Cody Bellinger's not ready to give up just yet. Hitting this double into the left center gap. And that's going to score his teammate all the way from first base to tie the game. The Cubs still have one out with a man on second and can start a rally as Christopher Morel's going to do just that. Smacking this one into right field as this one's going to fly over the outfielder's head and give the Cubs the lead. Another run would put a ton of pressure on the White Sox in the top of the ninth and Condelario is going to deliver with the third RBI of the inning. The Cubs survived the upset attempt and they're going to take over the rest of Illinois. The Pirates did improve this season but they're going up against a Phillies team that has made the playoffs two straight seasons and they stood no chance after Philadelphia scored five runs in the first inning. That was our fastest elimination yet as Philadelphia takes control of their state as the wheels next new victim are the Boston Red Sox and they're attacking to the west straight into Yankee territory. These were the two worst teams in a very stacked AL East division but I think this is going to be a good game as Adam Duvall starts off with a no doubt blast. The Red Sox are off to a good start with two runs off Garrett Cole and Verdugo is going yard to straightaway center for their second home run of the game. The Yankees didn't get the game they needed from Garrett Cole today and the Red Sox get a huge win as both New York teams are off the map. The wheels finally going to land on my hometown Seattle Mariners and as long as they don't go north there's no problem and they'll conquer the state of Idaho. The map was filling up quickly as several new teams claimed land but then the wheel landed on the Dodgers and they're completely landlocked and are taking on the Los Angeles Angels. We all know the Dodgers are the more complete team but Mike Trout and Shohei Otani should at least give this team a chance and they're gonna need a rally as the Dodgers lead 2-0 but Otani smashes a no doubter to right field to tie it up. We have a tie game on our hands however the Angels aren't done scoring with this sacrifice fly followed by another Shohei Otani home run and other than the two runs he gave up Otani's been dominant on the mound as the Dodgers are running out of time to rally. This may be the best chance the Dodgers have to rally with the man on third but Mookie Betts hits it right to the first baseman and in a shocking upset the Dodgers have been eliminated in their first game. I definitely wasn't expecting the Dodgers to be the first team eliminated from California as the wheel's gonna land on the Miami Marlins and there's nowhere for them to go but up. This matchup between two playoff teams is tied at three apiece in the sixth as this one's going the other way and should be able to score a run but it's gonna bounce into the seats for an automatic double. That costed Miami the leading run and they're not gonna be able to capitalize in this inning as this game looks like it's coming down to the wire as Berger goes the other way with this one into the gap to score Jazz. That's a very tough break for the Rays who won this matchup in the first Imperialism video and De La Cruz is not gonna make this any better and that's gonna be the end of the line for the Rays. The Marlins claim one of the biggest territories in Florida. All but five teams have played a game so far and it doesn't look like that's gonna change as we land on the Twins and they're gonna try to invade Canada. The Twins swept the Blue Jays in the first round of the playoffs and they're looking for redemption early putting up four runs on the top of the third. That hot start was way too much for them to come back from as the Jays get their redemption and expand the biggest territory on the map. This wheel's looking a lot smaller as it lands on the Reds and they're attacking to the south and I think that's going to put them in Baltimore's territory. These are two of the most exciting young teams in baseball but I'm worried that the Reds don't match up well against the Orioles but Jonathan India is looking to prove that wrong early on as it doesn't look like this one's going to leave the yard but it is going to score the first run of the game. That's a really nice start for Cincinnati as Joey Votto is still on this team and is looking to extend the lead but he's going to pop this one up taking the defender all the way back to the warning track as this one continues to carry and actually it's over the wall for a home run. That one did not look like it was going over the wall as Stephenson's up with Ellie De La Cruz on base and he belts this one into left field as this one's also going to carry back to the wall and in a crazy turn of events the Reds have their second home run of the inning. It's definitely too early to count Baltimore out of it as Cincinnati's pitching is definitely their biggest weakness and the Orioles are starting to break through it. However that's not going to matter if Cincinnati stays on the gas as India is going to blast his second double of the game and this sacrifice fly is going to allow him to score from third. This is the Reds' first game of the video and they really showed out, eliminating one of the biggest threats to win this entire thing. They just claimed a ton of land as half of the teams are gone and the Astros are attacking Kansas City. We've seen some crazy comebacks today, but Jordan Alvarez and the Astros set an early tone in this game and there was no way they were getting beat by the Royals. Hopefully we get a closer game between the Red Sox and the Phillies. Both teams are talented, so I think this one can go either way and Justin Turner is going to launch this one to get the first run on the board. The Red Sox would score two more runs, so there's a lot of pressure on the Phillies as there's a grand slam and just like that, another playoff team has been eliminated. You never know what's going to happen in Imperialism as we're going back to the first team we played a game with and we're about to eliminate another California team. I love a good underdog story and LA's running out of time but managed to get two runs on the board as it's hilarious if the A's have made it this far but it would be even more hilarious if they collected another win but the Angels just took the lead. I couldn't believe it when Oakland scored three runs off of Shohei Otani but the Angels came back and took the lead as Geloff sends this one back to center field and I think this one might have the carry going 
going back to the wall for Trout, who leaps, and he can't come down with it, as Oakland ties the game again. This could be our first extra innings game of the entire video, but not if Anthony Rendon has something to say about it, as the crowd's cheering for this blast to straightaway center field, and is gonna be just enough for the walk-off home run, as the A's underdog story comes to an end. That one definitely hurt my heart a little bit, but the show must go on as we land on the Marlins, and the Braves are gonna be playing their first game of the entire video. The Marlins are a pretty respectable team, but this is the Braves we're talking about, and they had an 18-run sixth inning, and they just won this game 28-1. to If they're not the favorite in this one, I don't know who is. We're down to 11 teams as the wheel's gonna land on the Guardians, and they're finally playing their first game of the video, taking on the Reds. Cincinnati pulled off a huge upset over the Orioles, and they're gonna look to continue that as Fraley goes yard with his team down one run. Cleveland tied it up, but that's not gonna stop Cincinnati from rallying as they take the lead back in the seventh inning. Another Cincinnati run was gonna make a Cleveland rally very difficult as the Reds pull off another upset in the battle for Ohio. This is a very talented young team, and I'm definitely shocked that they're still here, as the Angels are playing another game, and we're gonna finally see who wins the state of California. Anthony Rendon walked off the last game for the Angels, and he's going deep in the second inning of this one, as this one's going over the fence to put the Angels on the board first. This is a battle between two very good pitchers, as Rendon gets a hold of another one, and this is exactly what the Angels fans were hoping that he would become, and this is a huge cushion for the Angels, as they score another two runs, becoming the Kings of California, and up set a really good Padres team. We're down to our last nine teams, and the Mariners and Rockies still haven't played a game, but the arrow's gonna land on the Blue Jays, and they're invading Chicago. I think Toronto's played more games than anyone in this video, as Bo Bichette's gonna launch this one to deep left center, and that's a double to start off. This is gonna be the first real test of the video for the Cubs, and they're already playing from behind as Toronto gets on the board. A two-run homer in the seventh would extend their lead, and the Blue Jays had no problem getting another win. The Blue Jays expand what's already the biggest territory on the map, as I can't believe we're down to our final eight teams, as the Red Sox are chosen again, and they're taking on Cincinnati. There are five non-playoff teams left, and one's about to get eliminated, as Cincinnati put together a six-run fourth inning, and usually these games are pretty close, but Cincinnati went on a tear, and they pull off another upset. The Rockies are the obvious team left on the wheel that doesn't belong. I just don't think they have the pitching to keep up with the Astros, and that's gonna be the case, as that was their first game of the video, and they're instantly eliminated. The wheel landed on the Mariners for only the second time, and they're attacking Toronto's massive territory to the north. The Mariners have somehow avoided playing a game up to this point, and Mike Ford's gonna drive in the first run of this one. Both pitchers have been really good today, as this game remains 1-0 until Jared Kelnick smokes this one to right center, and the Mariners have a 2-0 lead. Luis Castillo completely shut down this offense to help the Mariners claim the most territory on the map. There's three playoff teams left with five to go, and the wheel lands on the Astros, who have been completely dangerous and are taking on Los Angeles. The Angels have been one of the biggest surprises of this whole video, but they're gonna need to bring their A game, as Jordan Alvarez sends this one to straightaway center, and that's a really bad start for Otani. They're down one nothing with a man on second, and Otani smokes this no-doubter into right field to take the lead back for the Angels. Feels like there's nothing that Shohei Otani can't do, as Mickey Moniak's gonna hit another double for the third hit of the inning for the Angels. Anthony Rendon's been clutched this video, and I have a feeling he's not done, as the third double of the inning is gonna score the third Angels run. The Astros won my last Imperialism video, but they can't seem to get out of this inning, as this ball is driven deep to left field, and the left fielder is gonna go all the way back and watch this one go over the wall as the Angels have answered with six runs. Justin Verlander had a meltdown and Otani dominated as the Angels pull off an upset. The defending imperialism champs go down to their own division rival and we're headed back to Cincinnati and they're gonna try to invade the biggest territory. This has been a slow one so far but the veteran Joey Votto is gonna make his former teammate Luis Castillo pay, launching his no doubter to get Cincinnati on the board. I'm really surprised with how well Cincinnati's pitching's held up as they scored three more runs off of Seattle's bullpen as the Reds have made the final three, eliminating my favorite team. The Braves are the last playoff team left, and it looks like the Reds are gonna make the finals as Atlanta's invading Los Angeles. Otani's gonna be tested against the best lineup in baseball, and Austin Riley is already making him pay. The Angels' offense now needs to score a run off of Spencer Strider, and Otani's delivered in these situations before, and he's gonna do it again, launching his third no-doubt blast of the entire video to help the Angels take the lead right back. This guy could literally beat a whole team himself, and he's put the Angels on his back the entire video, but Atlanta's gonna score the tying run. This is looking like a pretty good game so far, and Otani, you've gotta be kidding me, he's gonna do it again, going to the opposite field to retake the lead for Los Angeles on his second dinger of the game. This man is a literal cheat code, but the Braves tied the game back up, and Harris drove in Olsen to take the lead. The Angels tied it back up, and this one could very well go to extra innings, as the Braves have one on in the ninth, and Sean Murphy goes deep with this no-doubt blast to center field to give the Braves a late two-run lead and put a ton of pressure on the Angels. That completely silenced this home crowd, and Ozzy Albies is gonna 
deliver the dagger. And after a very good run in this imperialism, the Braves are going to the finals. The entire video comes down to this game, so please drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm honestly shocked the Reds made it this far, but they have to deal with Ronald Acuna Jr. and the Braves offense, and they're starting off with this no doubt homer, but thankfully for them, this one's gonna go foul. That's a scary start for Cincinnati, but unfortunately, Eddie Rosario is gonna put the first run on the board with this third inning no doubter. The Braves are already the better team on paper, so the Reds can't afford to fall behind, and here's their first extra base hit of the entire game, but there's two outs and they need to score them to tie this game, and Steer's gonna do that on this single up the middle. The Reds are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Braves, and Ellie De La Cruz really got a hold of this one, as this one's going back to deep center field, carrying all the way to the wall and becoming the leading run in this game. I cannot believe that Spencer Strider is blowing this game, as India's gonna drive in another RBI, as the Reds are gonna lead 3-1. to one. Hunter Green needs credit for holding the Braves to just one run to this point, but this game should be getting more interesting down the stretch, as he's pretty tired, and I feel like it's only a matter of time before he gets pulled, as this one goes to the diving second baseman, but he's not gonna be able to handle this one cleanly as a run scores and Olsen's safe at first. The Reds have turned to their bullpen in inning number six and this is not looking good as Atlanta still has zero outs and this single from Michael Harris is gonna score the tying run. You can't hold the Braves' offense forever and Sean Murphy is gonna deliver again as this one's gonna be able to score two runs and Atlanta makes it five to three with tons of time to go in the sixth inning. That rally was exactly what Atlanta needed but Cincinnati's not ready to give up just yet collecting a double in the eighth and just one run would put them right back in this but it's not gonna happen. That's an unfortunate missed opportunity, and Michael Harris may have just called game on this deep shot to center field as Atlanta takes a three-run lead and are the champions of this very long MLB Battle Royale. Thank you so much for watching this full video. Please drop a like and subscribe, and if you liked this one, then I guarantee you're also going to like these two.